borders, and yet every poll you take shows Americans want the illegals ended. If you would ask most Americans that we want, all third world immigration ended. Because the ones that are somewhat liberal will say, oh, let them come in, it's legal immigration, uh, they want to make a better life for the people. We're taking the niggers' <laughs> blood and all the mongrels too. We're taking down this off machine. Too much, too much, too much. The white man. Hang up on the tree. The whole white man is born and kill his family. The coke is playing. The coca plan can, the coca plan can, cause fill the world with hate, wear a body white on, who can kill the cause me, want an urkel too, want an urkel too, we're back a little rascal, take the weed, we're smelling so, the coca plan, the coca plan can, the coca plan can, the coca plan can cause us to the world with hate and wear a body white hood. The KKK hates all you two apes. From shopping down to Dr. Zaya. Especially NBA players. Stack them up like Jews in layers. They take a million shells, but they must be used to spit the Coca Clan. The Coca Clan can. The Coca Clan can cause the steel the well and hate to wear a funny white hood. The KKK hates 
Because if I was a politician and I did have money, then I could get people to follow me. I can open their eyes. And when they open their eyes, we would just grow and grow and grow. And when that army grew and we were at such size that we could change the world, we would change the world. And things would change around here. Yeah, well, uh, I'm going to cut all this off today. You know, it really doesn't suit me, you know. It's all long and it's wild and it's everywhere. I want, you know, something that... Says me, you know. I want a nice, shorter, sleeker, you no know, more conformative, if anything. Yeah, you know, I don't want anyone to think like I'm a pushover or something, you know. I mean, unlike my brother, I kind of agree with some of the things he thinks, but you know, it's not the same thing. Shut up! More than anyone. I just got time to myself, so started picking up books, you know, stuck around the house. Might as well do something. I've been reading, you know, philosophy lately. Some Nietzsche, Machiavelli, you know, and it kind of connects, you know. You just can see the, the right wing, but it's all hidden. Like the end justifies the means. Machiavelli goes right out with it. That's kind of what my brother thinks, you know, he's going right wing. They attack us, so. We go kill everybody. It justifies what happens. You know, if I wasn't stuck here, if I didn't have to be in this house, I'd be right out there. I'd be a politician, a congressman. I'd go on, you know, because I see it. The way this neighborhood's become, I see the, the threat that Arabs can pull. I hear the threat, you know. It's all around me. Everyone talks about the threat these Arabs pose. And if I could just do it, I'd go outside, I'd become a politician. Because we need a right-wing leader. We need someone that can get something done in this place. You know, I can see a lot of, like, Fox News and shit. And I see it every day, what they do on the streets, what they're doing all around. And, you know, I mean, I can't go outside. I don't have to worry about myself, but my family's out there every day. What are they supposed to do against people like this? We need to do something, and we need to do it fast. Because it's not going to get better on its own. I have two ways to learn things. I have the TV, which is constantly on Fox News, it's almost the only thing I'll watch, and, you know, the internet and everything. That's just my only way to know. And you go, and you look on these channels, and you look on these sites, and all you see are Arabs, you know, invading the world, coming closer and closer, they're just building up. You can even look outside and you'll probably see Arabs, it's the only chance I'll ever get to look at one of them. And, you know, I see the threat, and I'm stuck in my own home and I see it. Why can't they see it? It's something's gonna happen. 9-11 is going to get repeated and nothing is being done about it. And there's suicide bombing themselves all around the world and these fucking Democrats think it's a joke. It's not a joke. They're killing themselves and they're killing everyone around them. We need to do something about it. They're a threat to our community. They're a threat to the world. They threaten our freedom all the time. They hate us. They physically say they hate us. And that's just going to change our world. We need to do something. We shouldn't just be sitting by and letting people sit there, say they hate us and trying to kill us. And we sit here with no nothing, our thumbs up our asses. This is fucking music. That's you okay. I'm, sick. I'm sick of this. Because it still goes out of my face. Black people shouldn't be in the bed. Why are you going on my coat? My coat, please. Stop. Well, that was good for you. I think he doesn't do it. It does. Come on, look. This is therapeutic. You know what the best part of it is? This. Just cut it. 
Alright, we'll take this. Not pilled up enough to give a shit. Figure it out, you're the only role model I have. I want to hang out with that Kenny kid, but the way I think, you know, it just impedes it. That kid's father's a fucking nigger. And in this neighborhood, I don't, I don't want to even talk to them. They're beginning out numbers, you know. An average white person, you know, they have a kid or two. These fucking niggers are having four kids, six kids, eight kids. It's ridiculous. Soon enough, they're going to be the majority. And when they get smart enough, they're going to vote on one party or on one issue, and then they're going to run everything. You know, I gotta at least do something to stop these fuckers. They're not gonna control this neighborhood. You know, I used to think different and all, but... Maybe my brother's right about this. We started talking the other day, and... What he's saying is really starting to make sense about these fucking niggers and everything. That's the reason I shaved all this off. Make a stand, man. You know, I know I can't go outside, and not many people see this, but no. People that come to the door, the postman, you know, he's going to see it. If anyone ever delivers food, they're going to see it. And at least, you know, I'm trying to do my own part. Anything you'd like to say to people out there? Shadow on your dreams. You can reach your goals and live in crew. Be okay. He needs to run his ass around the block a few times. Mm. How about a little more of that good loving, Chef? Damn, woman. I just gave you sweet loving. You know, I used to hang out with Kenny as a kid and everything. It was all cool, but now my eyes are more open. I talked to Vala and I really think that this is the way to go. Looking him, I see more clearly than I ever have before. You know, he's a good kid and all, but... Just the circumstances, I just, you know, can't hang out with him anymore. I have to be grown up about this. You know, I really do want to hang out with him, but it goes against the white cause and everything. It's coming, you know. The war is coming, and I know what side I'm on. Moving yesterday by a store today. Pretty soon, I think they can run for president.